In Chengguanzi district, as John Asime joins his father to pick chaff from the family's maize harvest and later joins him to feed the chicken, the four-year-old is barely aware of how a donation made by a good Samaritan through Child Fund International has turned around the fortunes of his family. For over 37 years, Child Fund International has been operating in Uganda, working through Child Fund Uganda. It also associates with locally based community organizations that focus on improving the lives of children from birth to young adulthood, and with their family, local organizations and communities to create the environment that children need to thrive. Look, supporting communities to ensure the well-being and healthy development of children. That's what we focus on. In delivering interventions to children, Child Fund does so by covering three life stages. We design programs that help children uh, from the ages of 0 to 5 years, from 6 to 14, and uh, from 15 up to 24 years. Our programming is categorized as life stage based programming. Child Fund Uganda provides technical support and capacity building to community based organizations working in over 36 districts in Uganda. It is through these local partners that most of Child Fund supported programs are implemented to reach children such as John Asim. At the office of each of Child Fund's partner federation in Uganda, is a facility such as this one in Kole District. At this Early Childhood Development Center, a thematic intervention of healthy and secure infants is delivered. The 0 to 5 is a very special group, for example, because that's a critical period in the development of a human being. If we get it wrong at that age, we will get it wrong for the rest of the life of that child. This morning in Kole District, these infants are being screened for malaria. Also provided at this center is pediatric AIDS care and treatment, counseling to avert mother-to-child transmission of HIV AIDS. Here the children are also given psychosocial support. Yeah, you know, those childhood illnesses, immunizable diseases, we no longer have those issues because we have had activities designed around that and parents have been sensitized and they have been empowered hmm, to demand somewhere, somehow, for the service. To ensure that mothers have access to acceptable primary health care, Child Fund support has included construction and equipping of health centers, such as this one in Techua sub-county, Kiliandongo district. We used to go up to Panyadoli or Kiliandongo, so now the place has become too near. So they just go very near for immunization. John Asime's family was landless and living in abject poverty. Through child fund interventions, they now own a three-acre piece of land which the father tills for food, selling off surpluses to earn an income to fend for them. Not far from John Asime's home in Chiangkwanzi district, six-year-old Namakula has recently been enrolled on a child fund program. This is her former home. Today it has been replaced by a permanent structure complete with solar and a steady income for her mother. Natugula, twagula masepiche ebidomole ebidomole no buliri ne ne gali kati kapito ne nsigaza ke mitwala abiri. Kati we nsigaza ke mitwala abiri ngantandikira okusubula kusubula ne ntandiko kusubula mu golu monde. Kati we nasubule mere yo kati gundi magoba Twelve-year-old yes, Christine Nambozo participates in a class lesson at Musunga Primary School in Sironko District. Christine is a child fund enrolled child at the second life stage that seeks to produce educated and confident children. We imagine at that age a child should be at school and should access the best of it all while at school. And the core outcome in basic education is educated and confident children. Christine's school, like Nangwe Parents Primary School in Busia District, St. Mary's Nursery and Primary School in Kireka, a Kampala suburb, 
and Nankandula Primary School in Chiangkwanzi District, a part of over 100 rural and disadvantaged schools in over 36 districts of Uganda. Here, Child Fund and partners are working to ensure that learners have access to the best facilities comparable to those found in schools attended by children from affluent families. In this school, we have the enough desks to the children sit at and learn very well. There is enough water to drink and to avoid, and to avoid diseases. At all these schools, Child Fund has supported infrastructure development by constructing blocks of classrooms, teachers' houses, latrines for boys and girls, and water reservoirs. The classroom blocks have improved the learning environment for the children, while the teachers' houses have improved teacher attendance in schools. There was, no, there was, there was some few staff quarters, but at, at last when they saw that they have a problem of some teachers who are not, who are, who are not residing here, they decided to build us a staff quarter. Another, another uh, important thing which has improved here is water, water source. We had a problem that we, our children were moving about two kilometers away from here to, to fetch water from the borehole down there. Furthermore, with child fund support, all these schools have had libraries established and stocked with books. I love this library because it helps me read. This is a teenage girls counseling session in progress at Nakandula Primary School. Young girls are being counseled on menstrual hygiene. Child Fund supports children's initiatives such as a student's club in extracurricular activities like counseling, talking compounds, sports, music, dance and drama. Furthermore, Child Fund and its partners is supporting improvement in school governance and the continuous assessment of children's performance in schools. Enhancing their education in school through direct support to school. We work with the schools, the school management committees, the districts, uh, engaging the parents to realize their role, how they they should contribute to their children's education, supporting the girl child in managing issues like menstrual hygiene in schools. All is geared towards uh, improving academic performance uh, of the pupils of that age category. Through child rights sensitization, the community is conscious of the importance of child education. We have influenced by laws at the sub-counties so that no child is got at home during school time. As the children enjoy class, back at home, Child Fund and its partners are working with the communities in which these children live. We have uh, uh, activities that help uh, build the economic, uh, economic household, economic strengthening, where, where uh, families are brought together uh, to form VSL groups. They are educated and they start saving, and these uh, savings have helped them to to transform their life. After her household chores, before dusk falls, 39-year-old Evelyn Lakel bids farewell to her children to go and attend a village savings and loans association to which she is a member and a treasurer. This is Chan Ponyoa, VCLA, in Bweyale Town Council, Chiliandongo District. Child Fund and its partners have helped set up over 100 VSLAs throughout Uganda. At inception, they provide training for these groups to help them manage the association sustainably. And once set up, they are completely member managed. group. <laughs> The groups have 10 to 25 members who save their money together in an organized way. These savings are used for loan fund from which members can borrow money to help them set up or expand a small business and a social fund to help members of the community in distress. 
Doreen Naula, a resident of Ikiki County in Budaka District, has had her life transformed through the VSLA. Water is life, it is said. All homes are entitled to clean and safe water. Aware that children are the source of domestic labor in homes, and that collecting water is a key time and energy consumer for children, Child Fund and its partners sunk boreholes in areas without water. This is one of them in Madua village, Majanji sub-county, Busia district. Since we started using this borehole, they came and make that, they made that checkup of Birhazia outbreak and saw that at least it has decreased from 80 to 20. Eh? Which means it by the sense of this, this borehole. That's why this thing has decreased. Secondly, our children here were being drowned by water, lake water. Because people, children would be forced to go and fetch water at the lake when the lake is rough, you see. So the child, a child has no say because the teacher has said, you go and fetch water. The child have to go. Going there, maybe we can make a crocodile, maybe a snake in the water. Means that our children have been getting problems. And since the boy was brought here, you can see that our children don't go there from school to here. 24 year old Betty Amoding is conducting a community outreach in Toroma County, Katakui District. She is doing this out of her free will, a way of educating the community about the recent outbreak of malaria in the neighborhood. This is Betty's way of giving back to the community where she runs and operates a drugstore. Betty is one of the thousands of children throughout Uganda that are beneficiaries of child fund interventions under Life Stage 3, whose goal is to produce skilled and evolved youth. So we basically look out for those potential youth targeting our enrolled families who would have maybe wanted to study or do something, but because of the limitations here and there, they are just there seated in homes. So we pick those youth up, uh, we mentor them on vocational skills, different trades, and then we enroll them for the trainings. After we have trained them on different trades they have selected, we support them with the startup kits. And then we continue as an office to do monitoring, to see how they are doing well, just to improve on their livelihoods. Betty Amoding trained as a nurse, and when no job opening was coming through, she set up her own drugstore. Actually, I'm very happy because I have clients. I can receive, like in a day, more than three new clients I can admit. Those out, out, outpatients can do like 20, 25 in a week like that, which is a good progress. If life fun was not there, then I would not be a nurse right now. I would be just a wasted child in the village because our family was a poor family. Other youth, such as Ivan Mangeni, a metal fabricator in Busia district, Diana Atuanjo, an enrolled midwife in a government health center too, in Amoria district, Solomon Owenyi, an electrician in Lira town, and Juma Musoke, a carpenter in Luero district, are all testimonies of the transformation that has taken place in the lives of the youth. Life has become hard if you have, you, have, you have not educated, but through that, you have supported me to be educated, and now I'm able to move everywhere because I have some knowledge. Again, I'm going to go to Mpola Mpola. 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 Life is 
nsobola kubanga nyimirizawe kibanda kimwe wa mune byo cyaro difande bima byali koze iki ade okutuka kati ngabonda babano the advice they could give always was good you know when you have something hope of something you always feel nice that even if i'm in problems but because someone told me something i should continue with this i've bought some cows like about six then i have goats at home then chicken chicken now i don't i cannot even count then cultivating now i have cassava like three three acres mm. i do celebrate almost everything that i got from them i am very happy because there is nothing i can say that this one is even more than the other one because they are almost working in me all of them are tying on me eh? they are helping me so i cannot select even one that this one worked very well but our device would be the best others such as dan weyawo have ascended to positions of leadership in their communities uh, one it is the, the level the education two it has mentored me to be well placed in the community so the voice I talk now, where, where I am, it is because of Child Fund. Regardless of the successes registered, there has been challenges and lessons for Child Fund and its partners. Sometimes you get very responsive communities, good leadership, they select the right people and things move. On the other hand, you can get communities that are not as well organized, that select maybe not the right people or difficult people to deal with and then it becomes very difficult to get things moving. The needs of the communities are always very huge. They are huge, and the, the resources, of course, they are never enough, and the, sometimes uh, the communities are too expectant, you know, they are too expectant. So we, tell, we have to do a lot of changing people's um, uh, attitudes, behaviors, believe, to believe in themselves. In doing all it does, Child Fund and its partners throughout Uganda are working with communities to ensure continuity and sustainability of interventions. We have made sure that we evolve community structures in implementing this program, so that in case funding uh, ended, there is a continuity of the program that we have, we have initiated. By building their capacities, we have volunteers who are community resource persons. They exist in those communities where they are doing voluntary work. Then secondly, we use the government structures which exist from local council one, when it comes to health, we use the village health team, we use the health workers at the health center threes and fours. They are the ones that we use to implement our activities so that they own the initiative that we bring. For the individuals delivering the interventions to thousands of Ugandan children, seeing the transformation of, of lives from hopelessness to hope is a satisfying process. Seeing the community is growing, seeing the community is being resilient, seeing the households being able. That is where, just when I see that people are changing, yeah? I'm working with people and at least there's some change from before when I started working with them. That is enough for me. Through innovative solutions that help children living in poverty achieve their potential, Child Fund is changing the world one child at a time. The stories of these children are indeed a journey from tears to smiles.